Fake medicines are an issue worldwide. Earlier on this year, Interpol seized 2,400 fake COVID vaccine doses in South Africa. So what can be done to keep you and your family safe? Here we have our tablet. So we want to investigate what's actually in it. I'm Dr. Bahija Raimi Abraham, pharmacist and lecturer in pharmaceutics at King's College London. Some fake medicines are so good, it's very difficult to tell. So we've got some anti-malarials from Nigeria that have been tested to find out the amount of active drug in there. This one is real, so it has 98.3% of the active anti-malarial drug. And then these two are fake, they have no drug in them. What is interesting is that the people who have faked these products have been, they're so good, it's really hard to tell that they're fake. They've got the holograms, they have the fake batch numbers, expiry dates. The markings, gosh, it's very sad. But when you actually look at the packaging in particular with this one, there are some spelling mistakes. Here are some other anti-malarials that have been obtained from Nigeria as well. The real product, the colors are more vibrant, more intense. The falsified product, the packaging colors are very faded and washed out. If we now look at the tablets, there's some orange specks in some of them, and this is as a result of poor mixing, so a really bad formulation process. We know that fake medicines can enter the supply chain. This unfortunately means that a medicine may not be 100% what it says it is. But there are things that you can do to minimize the risk. Make sure you get your medicines from a pharmacy that's regulated by your country's National Pharmacy Council or regulatory body. Most countries have a database of licensed pharmacies that you can look up online. Before you or your family take any medicines, make sure to look at the packaging. Firstly, look to make sure that the product is in date by checking the expiry date. You should also look for any spelling mistakes or any defects on the packaging. Some packaging comes with a scratch panel where you would scratch to reveal a pin or a number, and then you would then follow the directions to call and verify that this product is real. It's important to know that criminals can also fake these. When you get your medicines, ideally you want them to be in their manufactured packaging where you have a patient information leaflet and also the medicines are in their blister packs. Sometimes they're given like this, which is not safe because you don't know exactly what you're taking and also the stability of the medicine is compromised because it's exposed to a lot more air, humidity, uh, temperatures. If you think your medicine might be fake, make sure to report it to your country's relevant authority. And this is to make sure that other people aren't harmed by fake medicines.